While in Kamasi in the Upper East Region, we will work with many students and churches, each with a distinct personality. The facilities are not what we usually picture, like this shed in the bottom right corner. The shed is actually a church building to which members must bring their own stools. There are no pews. In the upper left corner, you see a typical market in Bogotanga. The bottom pictures are school children who are amazingly bright, devoted, and eager to learn. They love singing praises to God and will melt your heart with their voices. Northern Ghana is occupied mostly by sustenance farmers, meaning they eat only what they grow. In the top left, you see a lady bending over to work a field with very primitive tools. In the top right, you see Miss Cecilia, a woman in Tongo who suffers from polio. Central has been working through the local church in the area to help her achieve mobility and gainful employment. This is a picture of Joan holding a medical clinic under a large mango tree. She simply set up shop and waited for people to come. Word spread quickly through the village and you can see how many people turned out. You don't have to be a doctor or nurse to help with the medical clinics. Joan always needs help writing prescription instructions and bagging medicine. As you can see from Anna, you will likely make many friends with whom you may even keep in touch once you are back in the United States. We have estimated the cost of airfare, lodging, transportation, and meals to be $2,800 per person. Assuming that we have 15 participants, the Central Church of Christ will contribute $1,300 from its budget toward the cost of each member's trip. This means that you must raise $1,500 to cover the rest of the cost. This $2,800 estimate does not include pre-trip expenses such as passport, visa, and medicines. To help you raise your $1,500, there will be several group fundraisers, some of which you can see listed here. Fundraising often proves to be the most trying part for many missionaries. We simply don't like begging people for money. We have found, though, that many Christians are not only willing but wanting to contribute to a worthy cause and will gladly help you out. A rough itinerary can be downloaded at www.cymathens.com underneath the Missions tab. Before the trip, you must have a valid passport. You must have a visa stamped in your passport. You must be immunized against certain diseases. You need medication to prevent malaria. You must also work to prepare yourself and others for the activities that will take place in Ghana. And finally, you must help with fundraising and planning. For information about obtaining a passport, go to the State Department's website at travel.state.gov. A fee will apply for obtaining your passport. How much the fee is depends on your age. If you will be applying for the first time, you must personally take your application to a processing center. The center in Athens is located in the Limestone County Courthouse. A visa is official permission from the Ghanaian government which allows you to enter their country. The visa application form must be completed correctly and sent with your passport to Ghana's embassy in Washington, D.C. The Central Church of Christ will mail these forms and passports for you so that we can have a way to track these important documents. Disease is more widespread in Africa than in America. The CDC requires that you be immunized against yellow fever and recommends that you be immunized for tetanus and hepatitis A and B. The hepatitis immunizations must begin several months in advance of the trip. To prevent malaria, you will also need to take an oral medication. Antimalarial pills vary in frequency of dose and side effects. This treatment must begin several weeks prior to the trip and continue for several weeks after the trip. Please keep these important dates in mind. November 2nd is the last day to let us know that you want to go on the trip. You must make a firm commitment by submitting $150 toward the cost of your trip by December the 7th. If you do not have a passport, you must submit your application by January the 18th to be assured that it will arrive in time to be sent with your visa application, which is due by March the 1st. At some point, we will probably have a yard sale which will serve as one of our group fundraisers. The deadline for personal fundraising is April the 4th. Your trip should be paid in full by this date. We will have a meeting the night before we leave for Ghana to make sure that everything is in order. 
please feel free to contact Scott Crooms or Will Grice anytime. Scott can be reached at 714-8581 and Will can be reached at 232-2239. We hope and pray that this presentation has helped you understand our purpose for making the long journey to Africa during the summer of 2009. Please ask for God's guidance as you consider joining or supporting our team. May the grace of our Lord Jesus be with you.